Hey friends, welcome to Vinylize. I'm Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be talking about my most recent visit to Amoeba Music in Hollywood. Now, I am beyond excited because I've been wanting to make this video for so long, and I'm glad that today's the day where I finally introduce you guys to this amazing record shop. Now, I visit this place as often as I can, and I would definitely consider it one of my top favorite record shops in all of Los Angeles. Now, you may be wondering, why is this place so incredible? Well, see for yourself. As you can see, this place is massive. It has everything a movie or music lover could ever dream of. They have CDs, DVDs, Blu-rays, vinyl records, VHS tapes, laser discs, 45 singles, 78s, posters, t-shirts, Edison diamond discs, cassette tapes, turntables, receivers, speakers, books, and basically anything else you could ever want like ever. Here's how awesome their store is. Every time I go there, I discover a whole new section of the place. I mean, this place never ceases to amaze me. You could be there for like an entire month and not even scratch the surface of all the cool stuff that they actually have. Also, a few times a month, they have free live shows that you can go watch. And usually the performances are by very popular and well-known bands, which is also super cool. I mean, this place just really understands what music culture is all about. They promote them themselves as the world's largest independent record store, and I would definitely have to agree. I mean, diehard collectors and fans come from all over the place just to step foot in this store and experience it for themselves. Eat your heart out, Disneyland. They also have a pretty cool online store that you can order from, but I've never really used that being that they're so close, and I usually just like to visit them in person. Now, the basic layout of the store is that all the music is on the first floor and all the movies are on the second floor, and there are individual sections that divide everything up by format and also musical genre. But basically, it's cool to just kind of discover the layout by walking around the place and exploring it for yourself. Now, on this visit, I found some amazing stuff that I wanted to share with the vinylized community. I managed to pick up three amazing vinyl albums that have been on my list for like a really long time. Also, being that I inspect my vinyl before I leave the parking lot, I've already unboxed all three of these records and they're in great condition. First up, I went to the world music vinyl section and within the Brazil subcategory I found Antonio Carlos Jobim's phenomenal bossa nova album Wave on immaculate 180 gram vinyl. This album is perfect for relaxing with a good hot cup of tea or coffee after a long day and I am a huge fan of bossa nova music. Next up I picked up Jose Gonzalez In Our Nature. If you haven't heard Jose Gonzalez yet you have no idea what you're missing. This dude is incredibly relaxing to listen to. His soft acoustic guitar sound is indescribably comforting. His most well-known song is actually a cover of the song Heartbeats, which was originally written by the band The Knife. It's a great song that I highly recommend you guys check out. Now, this album was the only album of his that I was missing. So now I have all three of his great albums on vinyl, and those albums are Veneer, In Our Nature, and Vestiges and Claws. So I guess now you could call me a Jose Gonzalez completist. And our final album, is low, the curtain hits the cast. It was the last one left and I snatched it up quick. I talked about low in one of my first videos I ever published on this channel. I mentioned how their album, I Could Live in Hope, was one of the top five albums I would love to own on vinyl. Well, I didn't come across that one, but this one is definitely a close second. People have called this album many things, including haunting, stunning, hypnotic, relaxing, and even achingly mournful. I just agree with all of those because this album is is slow, dark, 
rock and it's just gorgeous. Maybe I'm just weird, but I just really like music that kind of embraces darker themes and allows the sound to really sink in. Now, what do you guys think about my musical choices and Amoeba Records in general? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, join the vinyl revolution and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you're not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. All the links are in the description below. And most importantly, friends, keep spinning that vinyl.